hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel i came up with the craziest idea guys ever the crazy craziest idea for the month of november i'll be posting a video every single day yes you heard me every single day this will be called 30 days of diy to my grand christmas giveaway for more information on this giveaway check the description down below so stay tuned guys and let's just get right to the video today i'll be using this rubber mat to make two ends stable so i'll only be showing one and camera so i'll start off by cutting the mat in half so i'll be using my exacto knife to cut the mat in half Now these are my tie straps, I'll be using them to join the two ends of the mat together to form a circle. At this point, I'm now using the mat to draw a circle on a piece of cardboard to be used as a template for the top and the base of the table. I'm now using my compass so that I can get a perfect circle. Now that I have my circle, I'm testing to see if it can fit perfectly on top of the mat before I cut my board from the circle. I'm now tracing out my circle on a piece of board after which I'm going to cut two pieces, one for the base and one for the top of the table. I cut this piece of glass one and a half inches smaller than the circle. Now this is my piece of board that I'm going to use for the top. 
I'm now doing my measurement because I'm going to use my router to groove out the area on the board where I'm going to place my glass. Now this is how my board looks after I use my router to groove out the area so my glass will now sit in the space provided. I'm about to spray paint the mat so I'm now cutting off the ends of the tie straps. At the beginning of the video I did mention that I will be making two tables so one will be in silver and one will be in gold. I'm now using my silicone to install the glass for the top of the two tables. I'll be attaching these three pieces of board strips to the base of the table. These strips will be used to reinforce the inner section of the table so that the table can be extremely stable. So this is how my mat came out looking after it has been spray painted. So I'm now going to place the base that I attached to the three pieces of strips earlier inside of the rubber mat. I'm now going to add these LED lights after which I'll use some liquid nail to attach the top of the table.
to complete this project i'm now using my e6000 to seal the top and the base of the table I added some LED lights to show you other ways in which you can use these tables. They can be used as a lit bar for parties and other functions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. Comment down below and let me know which of the color table you like. Bye guys, see you in my next DIY video.